Do you guys use uh, food delivery services? Because I, I use it I mean, once a day at least. I I I use Grubhub more than I Ew, use like Grubhub. Po- I don't like I don't like Postmates and all that stuff. I Uber don't, Eats is the best one. I don't like paying for delivery. It, exactly, Uber Eats is the best one. And you know the best thing about Uber Eats, uh, you get a tracking. So like you're like, where's my fucking taco at? Uh, you see on the map where the driver is, so you can see him driving to you to the point of him coming to your house, and then you know when exactly to walk outside. Listen, I don't want nobody driving my fucking food, and I don't want nobody breathing on my fucking food. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, they put in there and grab some fries when they're hungry. Yeah, yeah I don't want nobody touching it. my food, dog. I don't, that's, that's, I fuck, that's I don't like none of that grub hub and none of that shit. You, yeah. You're all young men. You could get If I wake up in the middle of the night and go get two tacos on Moore Park, so can you. There's no reason to get grub hub and all that shit. Uh, well, you're young men, dog. I like This it. fucking guy wouldn't leave the goddamn house. If his life depended on him, and he Lee? gets all that shit, I would love to. Li- I would love all, to be living he, at the house. Yeah, he gets all that HMO food sent to his house. Gay he, food. This guy gets that HMO food. That fucking what, uh, what HMO food? That sushi you got sick on and all that shit. He eats I would never get on. delivery sushi. Yeah. How dare you? I know. What do you get delivered? I get like pizza. I'd get. See, uh, where do you get pizza delivered from? Well, I like that place on the. I like that place on the corner. If I had like if I had to pick like one of the fast food ones, it'd probably be uh, Pizza Hut or Domino's. Papa John's. Uh, really? It, it, I, I just got last night delivered uh, Taste Chicago. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's it's owned by the Joe Montana. Yeah, something it's like that. It's fucking god awful. It's horrible. God awful. So 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 God, that should be Lee's favorite restaurant. So, so let me do my review of what I did last night. They're, they have a Chicago deep dish pizza. Now I grew up with you Chicago. Grew up. You love deep that. Dish. Stuff. I love that yeah. shit. Uh, I decided to pay. It was twenty nine dollars for a yes, large. Yes. So I'm like, it's worth it. I'm just gonna act like this is like dinner, like lasagna or something. I I, I get it delivered. It was so fucking horrible. It was like, remember? I remember as a kid, my mom would take like flour and water and make like bread that was really like it tastes like biscuit or something. Have you ever was, been in there? No, I don't okay. want to go. I, I will never Don't go be, Listen, that was the worst food. I, I ever moved had. to this part of the fucking. I lived in Hollywood for God knows how long. And I moved up here. When I moved up here, my wife and I were doing a little better than we were in Hollywood. Uh, she had gotten a raise. I was starting to make a little money. We had no mercy. So we would go out to dinner three nights a week. You know, what do I say dinner? $200? No. We would go to those medium range joints, you know, just to see. We went to NoHo. We went to that firehouse pizza on the corner of it's Magnolia. Right. That blows. All this stuff blows. Yeah, so, you didn't like my little Tony. Oh, that's god awful. Damn it. So we went to Taste of Chicago. Dog, I don't know how many conversations I've had with with Lee about Chicago hot beef and how good I like it mm-hmm. and how they put the peppers and the mm-hmm. onions and mm-hmm. you know, when I when I when I even hear when I get an offer from Chicago, like I already have my menu planned out. Like I know I'm gonna go here. <laughs> I took Lee last time and one of Lenny Bravo's the fucking best guy in the world picked us up and took us to the best hot beef place, man. I love, listen, there's something about a hot beef sandwich. So I see Chicago, it's Joe Montana. I can't go fucking wrong. Right. I can't go wrong. I go in there, I think we drop $60, dog. Yeah. Two hot beef sandwiches and something else. And it was like, okay, you know, again. Uh, this is what it is. This ain't fucking Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they fly the beef. They fly the bread. Dog, me and my wife took like two bites of everything and got up and walked out. Yeah. We got up and walked out. I heard there's a great place in Hollywood called Baked Wings. Baked Wings. The chicken wings are baked. I yeah, yeah. I heard you. about that. Yeah. Uh, I went to that. I, I did the, the show you did, Hot Ones. Hot uh, Ones. Uh, with Sean Evans. I couldn't find oh, your fucking thing. Oh, oh I, yeah. So I did a special edition of it, that where we went to this place downtown and it has uh, hot Nashville chicken. Yeah. How is that? Was, was, is the normal spiciness good? That looked good. As it- I, I tell you what, man. It was, uh, it was some of the best tasting chicken ever. And even though... We we ate. Uh, it's called Howlin' Rays, and there's like a three hour wait all day so before they open. There's people lined up down the door, and it's it's delicious. But we got the uh, hot, extra hot, and then a item where they don't have on the menu, and it was so fucking hot that Sean says, "Hey, everything we just had there, 
is hotter than what we ate, eat on the show, the hot ones. But if you want to look at it, it's just uh, if you type in uh, Sean Evans Red Band, it's uh, it's on there. But did you shit for fire? And did you have? I was taking my I, for like 24 hours. I was on the, on the toilet just shitting fire. I had to take off my shirt. You know how sometimes for some reason your body goes take off all your clothes now when you're on the toilet. Why is that? That's it's so weird that happens. Do you have that? I have that sometimes <laughs> when uh, when I when I would get too high. When he gets like, Grubhub. And, <laughs> how dare and, you? And, and the fucking delivery guy spits in his hummus. Uh, but yeah, I was I thought it was dying. Like that was awful. Sean said that he went back and he was same thing. It was I like the worst. Did not really like the Nashville chicken. When I, I just went to Nashville, mm-hmm. I love the city of Nashville. I got a place that's a great pizza joint. And I think I went to the wrong place. I did not like it. I don't like the. I, I, I don't like it. blackened shit. I don't like well, peppery like that. Yeah. I like spice for flavor. I don't care if you make your food hot. That's phenomenal. But it better be flavorful. If you're just making it hot to be cool, yeah, that's like I don't Spencer's see the beauty gifts. of it. Yeah, that's like Spencer's Gifts. You're almost buying it for the, like, ha-ha. Like, let's try to eat a bite. Ha-ha. You know, you don't, I, I wish we got to eat, like, a mild one. Because that's what I wanted. I just wanted to taste I like the, the taste of chicken with spicy, like Popeye's mm-hmm. chicken. Mm-hmm. I'll eat a fucking pop. But I told you, Doug, when I went when I go to Tennessee, I go to Lee's motherfucking chicken. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That old school fried chicken. That's all I want. Yeah. I want old school fried chicken. You know what makes good fried chicken? Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans could fucking make a fried <laughs> chicken and make your head fucking blow up. In the Bronx, you could smell it as you're driving down the street like somebody's making good fucking chicken, man. I tell you what I do. My broke-ass uh, meal of the day is you go to the grocery store and get drumsticks, and you usually can get, like, 12 drumsticks, 24 drumsticks for, like, $3. Like, uh, the, Where? The, the pavilions by my oh, house. Oh, you cook them yourself? Yeah. And yeah, you, my wife does yeah, that, Yeah, and too. we like, just soak good. them in, like, They're hot sauce good. and yeah, put them yeah. on the grill. You're good. That's And it's, like, 3 bucks. Yeah, no, no, no. Chicken's fucking dirt cheap. I mean, yeah. you know, if they've been beat up and kicked. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I look get, for yeah, you get I, the, I, I you look get for the, caged ones. Yeah, you look for fucking <laughs> animals that have been tortured. You know, you go to bite the fucking breast and it's missing a piece. Because somebody burned it like fucking Lee's tongue. It's got a little laser on it, like Lee's tongue and shit. Nah, uh, but man, when you get good chicken and, and marinate it, you know, anything that you could marinate. Like, when I was, I don't like, I can't eat all those gamey stuff. Yeah. I can't eat gamey stuff. Like lamb and no, all I don't that like, stuff. I don't like that. I don't Let like fish either for that reason. I'll bring you to a place. Well, it's not a place. It's my friend's parents. This motherfucker <laughs> would... Give you a piece of meat and you go. That's the best meat I've eaten. And also, like, that's lamb, and you're like, lamb. How come I didn't taste it? Because they would marinate it for three or four days and cut it into chunks and put it on barbecue on kebabs. Oh shit! Marination is important. I tell my wife. My wife's one of those that when I marry her, it's a piece of chicken with pepper and salt on it. That that, that that's not cooking. That's not cooking. You got to figure this out. I know we would sit together Mm -hmm. and look up recipes. I do vinegar and lemon a lot. Yeah. No, no. Today I made a fucking halibut with a, we took a little teriyaki. I I was in jujitsu and on the way back she goes, what do you want to do with that halibut? I go, you know what? Something different today. I go, get aluminum foil, put some lemon juice in there, some fucking teriyaki and close it up with a piece of butter. Mm -hmm. You should have tasted that Mm -hmm. fucking halibut when Mm -hmm. I got home.